Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Today we'll do a very special energy here, since I have the after tarot deck for all of you and still have my black coffee and I'll take a sip doing a special reading here for all of you for the day or for whoever needs to hear these messages as well as usually stick with me till the end we'll get messages for each individual zodiac sign but before we going there, I know many of you are eagerly looking for these daily messages. And since today, I've been waking up and really wanted to do this daily. For whatever reason, feels a very strong energy, probably because the, the lunar eclipse or the energy from the full moon in Libra comes very strong. But deciding to to bring this dailies on a regular basis as well before I start any other reading either it's towards the channel either towards the personal readings I want to bring for many of you this to be the first reading of the day of course if many of you still looking for these messages and as always know the timelines will be in the description box for some of you you will have the video you know based on little chapters for others of you definitely look in the description box and you will get the, the timestamps out there why it's such a rush energy I'm not quite sure, but something is massively, in a big way, shifting. So this reading is very much for all of you who are looking for some kind of shift in your life. Either that shift could be in your personal life or family life. You know, every, everyone has to deal with certain things. And there's no exceptions because that's how is our human life here on the earthly life. Or it's a job shift, career shift, or whatever shift you are looking for. So let's see, loves. What's majorly shifting right now for all of you? I could get just one simple message i could get more and probably i will do for each individual zodiac science also what's shifting especially for you at this time but indeed here this energy is quite up beating so let's see loves what's shifting in your life we have the hermit underneath for some of you, it could be shifting the view you see your life, even. It could be internally as well. Yeah, look at this judgment. Or the way you speak to yourself or speak to others. Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. For many, many of you, this is an um, a internal shift. And could be regards yourself because look at this even to this queen of swords i want to show you and i hope it's uh, really focused my camera there is a butterfly here on on the tip of the sword so definitely here there is a shift into the the energy of communication for some of you, the way you communicate to yourself or to those around you, it's kind of in a kinder way or in a more clear way. I see you probably this could shift in your confidence way because I see you kind of um, 
been very very concerned about are uh, people understand me what I'm saying are uh, people get me what I'm saying or they don't am I speaking my truth or not as you have been here for quite a while probably where you just come across you know the readings I do they are not sugar-coated and yes sometimes I might be way blunt to certain energies but I never here to judge anyone because we all going through our own journeys and we have also the free will always and let's see what's more first card we have six of cups in this six of cups the kids are not staying they are going away so for some of you you definitely hear leaving a past energy behind or you could give yourself um, a certain time to achieve something or to get something. Could be within six months as we speak or during this um, six month. Queen of Cups. Strength. Lovers. Definitely hear someone here made the choice. And the Emperor. Wow, Queen of Wands, another Queen. It's a very feminine energy. For some of you, there's something here you, I'm not gonna allow less than what I want. Seven of Swords. The Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. Wow. So it seems here that someone here also is changing from the, the feminine energy or from the energy that I always allow the things to me. I'm not allowing less than that. Somebody here feels like they've been way too good. Way too good to some, someone or something. Yes, we do have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. I might speak here with someone who is with someone, but they feel lonely in that connection. Or might be someone here from Queen of Swords is changing into the King of Swords. Because Queen of Swords has a butterfly on top. The King of Swords is putting the swords down. So somebody here might put the foot down here in regards to the situation. The only queen, however, is missing in here. It's queen of pentacles. So, doesn't matter the zodiac sign, but somebody here is not gonna dedicate themselves as much as they used to. Because, yes, queen of swords looks like a martyr. Queen of swords also look uh, queen of uh, pentacles, pardon me. It's someone who, who is always for others, who tries to do everything and anything possible to, to get it through. It's, it's a giver. So someone here is kind of like, I'm done with those things. I need to do me. And it doesn't matter if people will like me or those around me will like it, because I need to do what I need to do. So from the Hermit energy to the Emperor energy, very mature individuals, but the energy is very shifted. The Hermit is someone who, yes, it's wise, so is the Emperor. The Hermit is quite spiritual, very strong, but the Emperor is more like on a physical plane, on more the 3D energy. So for some of you, if you... If you really have been in some kind of energy, now you shift your energy. Okay, you shift big time. So that's the, um, the change. For some of you, the timeline could start as we speak right now. Seven hours, seven days, till up to six months. And it seems here that um, this energy could um, start now. But I see the Gemini energy. 
the emperor the Aries so we are in Aries season and the the Leo and Virgo energy so by the it's kind of by by September October the latest this is happening this shift or this shift is completed okay let's see what's this seven of swords what's this seven of swords here yeah someone here is up to something big time seven of swords five of wands in this deck five of wands is kind of like yeah people will talk but there will not be much that will um, influence you or it's kind of like in this uh, usually in the five of wands there is arguments fights or things like that but it's kind of somebody's actions will be noticed highly noticed or whatever you do will be noticed and you will know people will will say things but not necessarily they will show that they are gonna do those things star it's more likely people will want what else Aquarian energy with the star we have the full moon in Aquarius in August as well but it's kind of like a lot of people will will want to be like you or will want to to get like you it's kind of a a very questionable energy how you can do this if you till now you've been this way and how you can do it look at this queen of pentacles here underneath something here could be related to many many of you work wise how you work it through or how you've done these things how you put the things through but i see a very skeptical energy here let's see the six of cups <coughs> Because whoever here I'm speaking, you definitely made the choice. You definitely made it. Six of Cups, clarifier, please. The High Priestess. Whatever here, this choice as well. Look at this. High Priestess and the Emperor. This is a very um, 5D energy. And the Emperor is a very 3D. For some of you, you manifest in the 5d and that's happening in the 3d for others of you not too many people know what you about to but it seems here will be quite um, a huge energy for you to enjoy with the six of wands this is some kind of success or is a successful change that many many of you you are gonna go through it very good i see here very strong leo energy here speaking and when i see the leo energy it doesn't mean necessarily you are a leo or you have leo in your chart when i see leo energy is if you are a creative person or a very passionate individual for what you do or how you do the things it's like you put everything in it or whatever here you try to do you you take your time to make it the way you feel is right for you so if you work on some projects or some kind of industry you give it all doesn't matter whatever industry is or whatever opportunity you do but you know for some of you yes you whatever changes you do you definitely will overcome a situation and you you will just benefit out of this change beautifully but again some people will um will will feel curious how you made it what you've done or how you've done it but it's it's just a choice 
because you know we all have a choice either you stay somewhere or you move somewhere let's see one more card next to the high priestess but i'm hearing like a lot of people want to be like you or a lot of people will uh, will try to follow your steps or look for your steps no matter whatever those are because it seems here that for some of you you might give an example of how to do the things look at this two of swords nine of swords this is kind of um you change your attitude or you change the way you used to or proceed into the things for some of you you do the the things you always said i'm not gonna do it or they're too much here it's kind of you you break the not break the rules but the barriers because you know always the um, we are putting our own limitations and somebody here will definitely this is a, um, a mental barrier if I tell myself I can do this, I can do it. If I can tell myself I can do it, I can't do it. So again, we're going through the choices. Eight of Wands. But when someone here, for others of you, is just like, you know, I want this, I want that, but I never took action. The Emperor speaks about actions. From certain things that just thinking or feeling stuck it's like um it's a mindset shift for many of you and i feel here for some of you this is a mindset shift towards how you do the things or work on things or put in effort things or how you you dedicate towards the things that's the the biggest shift here but let's see here the um, the king of swords speak to me because king of swords and the emperor for some of you you might own your own business or you might work for yourself or you do something but again i see you you will raise a lot of not suspicions but you will raise a lot of uh, years and eyes towards whatever you are going to do or how you are going to do certain things. What's the King of Swords? Eight of Swords. So definitely here there's a something like I can't do it into I can do. From that mindset of it's impossible or... I could never do this. For some of you, my someone here help you with this Eight of Swords. And this in this card is like somebody here, it's giving you some kind of um, help to get out these ropes out. Let's see, one more card. Four of Swords, taking time for healing. Definitely, it's kind of in both cards, there is someone here around you. In this Eight of Swords, there's someone cutting it because you're feeling sick or things. And there is someone here who helps you and it's kind of getting you out from it or, you know, it's bringing you to the energy that there is a good time out there or there is much more there. It's not as bad or it's not exactly the way you think. There's a lot of swords a lot of mental energy here for some of you definitely it's um, a huge mindset shift one more card ace of cups underneath we have the higher fend so definitely here something about balance stability but with this ace of cups it's the worm and I have here this white dove with, I don't know what this is, like a coin. It's kind of, it's always a new beginning. There is always a chance for new beginning. 
if you are giving yourself. But I feel here, many of you, you are shown a new way to do certain things or going ahead with certain things. Regard something here balanced. Whatever shift is happening, it's a balanced shift. For some of you, if you definitely have a business or you work for yourself or there is just something here you, you love to do on your own. It's kind of from the shift of nothing goes right or nothing moves into everything starts to flow, everything starts to move and everything starts to grow. It's one thing is to look for it and have it. There's something here about look for it and have it. For some of you, you are um, the shift also is how you talk with the universe towards what the things you want. Well, let's see. What advice spirit has here? What advice spirit has here for whoever listen or needs this energy? Yeah, the justice, Libra energy here. And speaking of the the full moon eclipse as the change, the shift is there. And we had at the bottom also the Hierophant. So it's kind of you, you're shifting about what's balanced for you or how the balance look for you in a different way. Beautiful. So the advice is when you look for balance, you'll get more, but you should believe it. Because if you don't believe in something and you're just saying is like, as I always give the example of a candle. If you believe that the candle will bring you something and you will truly put that energy in it, that will bring you. If you just light the candle and say, well, I put this because somebody says, but I truly not believe it. That is just a little candle lit up. Okay. Probably that's why so many put this smell or fragrance in the candles. Because many of take it as just a fragrance energy or fragrance candle. So definitely this is about your balance, my darlings. You are not let yourself down by any means. Another, let's see here, what else? Magician. I can create my own balance. And the universe has always my back. And the universe always show me the way. If I look, because I feel here there's something here like let the universe guide you. And the universe definitely guides you. Justice, magician, three of pentacles. You can create your own legacy. Because look at this three of pentacles. Usually they are people who work together. But here is like you are getting inside something and you are looking. Is this worth for me to put in effort? Is this what I want or this is not? So for some of you, you are going to do the things you you are truly want or you truly feel they are right. It's not like I will do because that needs to be done. So nobody can put you to do certain things unless you agree with. 
Seven of Cups. Because the same work, the same things can be done through different other ways. It's kind of like to have results doesn't need to be the same outcome or the same way. You know, like in a school when we used to resolve a problem at math. Doesn't matter how you resolve the problem, which method you use. The results gotta be the same. So that's kind of a thing here. So no matter what we do or how we put in effort, we gotta have the same result. Eight of Pentacles. So the work gotta be a little different or the shift in how we're putting in work. Ace of Wands. Doesn't need to be hard or doesn't need, it's like we use certain tools that are much easier than, you know, make it the way we used to. And yes, probably somebody here is very technology trained or for some of you, you are going to get tech trained. But also, many of you, you know, with the shift from Capricorn to Aquarius, to the age of Aquarius, a lot of shifts in the way we're putting in effort into the things, the way we work on things. And yeah, the technology will take, it's like a skyrocketing energy here. But yes, many of you, doesn't mean your work, but it's the way how you are going to work things out there. Okay. Also, we do have this aces. This is happening fairly quick. Whatever it is. Fairly quick. Because these are the fastest aces besides the ace of swords. Okay. For example, if till this moment something here took you three years to get somewhere, now will get you a few months or a few weeks even. So the spirit advice here definitely speaks here that you will be in love. You will be excited for the things you feel like discovering. Because this feels like a, speaks like a discovery way, how I can manage certain things or several things at one. It's kind of like more, more efficiently. The, the way we communicate, the way we do the things, it's kind of like... Yeah, we have these things Wally and one, but something here will have some kind of link. I, I believe in uh, physics, we do have the, um, the link, or we can see, you know, in the... Um, probably I give this example uh, before, or we have the Christmas lights. And sometimes if one light is going away, all the lights can go. But now, if a light goes off, doesn't need all the lights to go off. The other lights will still working. So if something here will not work, you will balance with other things here. So the way you manage things will be much different, much efficient. And it seems here, yeah, somebody here I feel here someone will get some help. Could it be divine help? For others of you, it's literally someone is going to help you in regards to the situation. But I feel here for some of you, you are giving higher intelligence. What I mean that the universe sends a force or an energy towards you to help you through certain things and to see the things from a higher position. Having the star in this Ace of Cups, what's coming in very strong here, you know, is like a, um, a kitty cat sees a knight 
and sees a day very well. So you will see both sides through the night and through the day. What that really gives to me is the energy of you don't need the day, you don't need the night. You need you to understand here. So the balance here, it's a little different. You are going to make your own balance. I hope I could explain for some of you, but I feel here this energy is much bigger than I can put in words for some of you. I don't see a love reading here, loves, but I feel here there's a huge shift for many of you that's coming up. And it's kind of buckle up the way we'll show to you. Because for some of you, you might get very strong surprised. For others of you, yes, you, you're coming from the dark to the light. Or something here you put in effort for a very long time will, um, will have a big, big, you know, it's not fame, but will have a big success. But I feel here also the help that's coming in from the divine will be way bigger to be understood by others. And no matter whoever speaks whatever they speak about, you know, because behind the curtain, not too many sees what you're going through. And for that reason, honor you. So let's see, loves. The daily energy for individual zodiac signs. What do we have for each? And yes, now speaking about shifts, that the eclipses definitely brings strong energies. And sometimes the unexpected energies, probably some of you were looking for, were asking for, but indeed they are good let's see and of course we're gonna start with aries welcome darlings let's see how's your day or what's the message of the day or what's gonna shift for you lovers judgment and two of cups for some of you, what's shifting for you is your love life. For others of you is your, your new choices, new experiences. Whatever here you choose is nothing that was in the past. Because for some of you, you've gone through a couple of good lessons in your life for some of you is how you choose people around you or who you choose to be around you and who you kind of let them go definitely here past experiences for many of you Aries has quite strong impacts for the choices you are gonna make from now on it seems here that there's an Aries here who who grown up grown up and for some of you you will know who to appreciate more and who to just you know pass by Taurus we have a nine of cups we have a six of swords and speaking here Taurus is what's shifting for you in your life as we speak right now and in the near future. Okay, what's shifting for you is the way you allow people probably to step into your life or to stay in your life or it's like you, it's not like you'll make uncomfortable towards others, but there's something here about that if feels like 
too good to be true. I'm not going to allow it. Or it seems here that there's no expansion, there's no growth of any kind. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to stumble across. I'm not going to stay. I will move forward. So there's certain things here you are not going to allow anymore, especially those things that have no purpose or have no any kind of movement. Feels good, yes, but doesn't have any potential or any growth potential, then you are not going to be there. Before we go into Gemini, I'm going to sip a little coffee here, loves. It's early morning, so today it's kind of a busy day. Here we are. Gemini, what's going to shift for you? The way you do the things. Two of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. And Five of Wands. Yeah, a lot of people might not agree with your choices or the way you are going to do the things. But it's kind of you are going to do certain things in a way different ways. If you are not sticking with certain things till now, you are going to be more committed, more, more into them. And yeah, some people will say like, what is going on with you? Or why you do this? Okay. For others of you, if you've been hesitant to let go someone from your life, you will let them go completely. If you are in some kind of connection that is up and down, in and out, you're not going to, you know, worry anymore or fight anymore. You will more likely let it go. Not because you want, but you know it's not healthy. It's not going, it's kind of, it's going in a circle over and over. And for you to get out from the circle over and over, will kind of like need to do a radical energy. So for some of you, what's shifting is the way you are going to do certain things from now on. It could be in regards a person or in regards certain people in your life. Cancerians, what's shifting for you, loves? And I have the hangman. What's shifting for you is a situation that it's kind of you allowed to go for too long that way. When you knew or when you know, got to be in a whole different other. Yeah, but it's not only up to you, loves. The universe has your back. Yes. For some of you, if you used to be like some people or some, um, some others from my life needs to help me, now the universe is telling you it's up to you or it's on you how you do it. For some of you, it took you a little while to learn certain things. Could be about life or could be even about you. This could be about that you can do everything and anything if you do want to. There's something here about relying on yourself, not on others. Have expectations for you more than on others. Because having expectations from others you might stay stuck in some kind of situation. When you do it on your own or you're doing by yourself, it's much better. But look at this beautiful shift. For some of you, if you felt even stuck in some kind of, kind of situation, the universe is telling you, I'm here for you, but it's, it's up to you. I'm here to help, but I'm not going to help if you are not going to help yourself. So it's kind of hand in hand goes all this. Leos, we have a four of pentacles. We have an ace of swords and two of wands. I'm hearing what's shifting here. It's how much effort, how much time you put into certain things. 
or how much you you can stay in certain things because four of pentacles something here you've been holding back but i love this four of pentacles because there is death next to it something here it's long gone and you kind of know it but it's kind of you were one decision away from something should i stay in this deadly end or I got to look clearly, there is another way or another energy. And that's kind of, um, for some of you, it's a breakthrough in some kind of situation when you will be able to see more clearly that it's enough is enough kind of a thing. So it's kind of like you got to tell yourself, this is the right thing to do for myself. And no matter how painful it is or how much I can lose, it is time. So for some of you, definitely it is time. Could be a time to move away from a situation that it's long dead or long not going, you know, okay or moving okay. For some of you, there's a four years situation that you still kind of like holding on but it's time it's time for change and this shift is happening now virgos we have a ten of swords here we have a four of cups and a higher fend something here that you thought is balanced stable it's gone in this four of cups it's kind of something here it's gone and it's gone not because it was not for you but because you needed to learn a lesson with the higher fend so what's shifting for you is the way you are learning things or even doing things for some of you, it's shifting that energy that whatever is not done on time, it's better to not be done. Or it's pointless to keep for other day. There was a saying, I don't know how it is in English, but what you can do today, do it today. Don't leave it for tomorrow. For others of you, what's shifting is how you manage certain things to be efficient in the proper time but definitely here this is a, a major lesson here okay loves so yes it seems here you did learn the lesson so it's shifting for you how you are gonna properly do certain things from now on Libras for you we have a seven of wands we have a three of one, three of pentacles, pardon me, and the page of cups. Okay. For some of you, you may work with certain people, different um, nationalities. For some of you, you are working in a department who everybody has an opinion. Okay. Because it seems here, for some of you, you work definitely here with different nationality. It's a multicultural uh, energy here. And everybody has their point of view of how certain things got to work, got to be done. What I'm seeing here with this page of cups is let everyone to manifest themselves. Give them the chance to express themselves. If you want something here to go beautifully forward, no matter if you are a head of a company or you work with such people or with different cultural, you know, different ethnicities, different whatever, give them a chance to show their abilities. I feel here for some of you, you are in a very fast paced environment 
and you might feel like I don't have time to train anyone. Everybody needs to know that what they do. But Spirit says when you are giving time, you will see much better results. So definitely here for you, loves, what's shifting here now is the way you are going to allow people to show their abilities. And then you will know very well what works and what does not work for you. Okay. It's kind of uh, be a little more patient with certain people who definitely have certain skills that probably you can definitely look for in the future. And those who knows the best, because there are those kind of people who feels like they know the best, might get a different way. Okay. Scorpios, what's shifting for you, darlings? We have a hermit. We have the Empress. And we have the Sun. Wow. This is a major shift for many Scorpios. Some of you loves, you are coming out from a dark place or a dark energy or a dark situation. And you are coming out in such a beautiful way. For others of you, you are going to make a major decision. And based on this decision, in just a few months, you will see tremendous, tremendous results. But I feel here you need to think throughout very, very strong. For, for some of you, Scorpius, you might become parents. If you've been single for quite a while and you decide, I let the universe to guide me to the one, you might get the one. And very shortly after, you might become even a parent. Because I definitely see here something completely new from what you knew or seen before. For some of you, is your life changing 180 degrees. And this change is a very strong and positive one. It's kind of like you, you might even think here now that your life is boring. Sometimes boring is still good. Not always, of course. But it's kind of you, you might be in a quiet place now. But you are becoming a very, it's like you, you are not going to be bored for too long. You know, that I always say to, to my little ones, my life before you were quiet, very quiet. And it's not because it was very quiet, because I used to work in, a, in an office of chiropractic. And I met a lot of people every single day, a lot. When I mean a lot... There was a lot because the the doctor I was working for was a very popular establishment. And a lot of people came into that door. 14, 37, that was the number. And when I used to come home, I loved my quiet time. Now, when my little ones are home, there's no quiet time. And you know when kids are young. So it seems here for you, Scorpio, your life, if it was quiet, if it was not too many things happening, and you were just hoping for certain changes, well, my darlings, embrace this change. So what's shifting you is certain things here that you just wanted it. They are going to happen. For those of you who really hope children, family, you are going to have it. For others of you, if you have certain idea of something to do, you will start making it. And it seems here could be a great success. But yes, for some of you, you are 
ladies, prepare yourself. There is a pregnancy here. There is a child. But there is a child. For some of you, whatever here, it's coming. And yes, will brighten your life, your your future will brighten your days. It's something here that you were looking for a long time. All right, love. A long time. Wow. Sagittarius. Let's see here. What's shifting for my Sagis at this time or in the near future? We have a Ten of Wands. Your level of energy your level of energy usually in other decks usually in other decks this ten of wands is the man holds all the wands but you are just kind of resting so for some of you it's kind of a recover of some kind or recover after a long time or a long hard time three of cups and eight of wands wow so it seems here that yeah recover for some it's kind of new days what i also have here for some of you whatever here is shifting for you is shifting in a very quick time could take a few weeks still a few months no longer However, it's kind of whatever here you worked hard for will start to show to you. You know, sometimes we, we do the work and then we let to kind of like see what's happening. Or when you plant certain seeds, when you water them, when you fertilize, fertilize put fertilizer out there, then you are looking, will there be anything or not? And definitely here, it's kind of like your fruits are coming. Your, it's kind of a, some kind of celebration, some kind of news coming in quickly. But this is after a very long time of work. For others of you, Sagittarius, what's shifting for you is the the way you see yourself or the way you put in your energy into the things you are working with around you because indeed here certain things are it's kind of when you are at the last last drop then things starts to shifting Whatever that is, I will. I want to clarify this ten of uh, wands for you, loves. Yeah, look at this devil. <laughs> when, when you are not really worrying about or too much into things or obsessing over the things, then things are shifting. For some of you, yes, you. What's shifting here? You uh, let go. Um, a person in your life or certain people in your life they're now worth your energy so definitely here your energy is changing yeah look at this death so whoever they are they are not anymore into your life or not gonna be anymore into your life for some of you are people for some of you could be even a third party but it's kind of like certain things here that are, are shifting, they need to shift. Let's see here, are they people or there is just one person? Strength, yeah. For some of you, this is some, um, some karmic tie. It seems here some, um, some situation, yes, Knight of Cups. For some of you, if you've been in some kind of third party, love-wise speaking, you definitely are ending that for good. And there is coming, once you end that, it's coming the real 
connection, the real offer. For others of you, as I said, you shift your energy into what brings something to you. You are not going to put energy into anything that holds you back or keeps you in some kind of loop. It's kind of you will um, you will see certain things much clearer right away. When something here is starting into your life, you will know right away. And for some of you, it's the way you you see certain things in your life. Capricorns, what's shifting for you? We have the temperance. We have ace of wands. And we have justice. I have two cards of balance. Okay. And this is about your balance, your patience towards the new things that's coming into your life. It's kind of like you, you know, when certain things coming into your life, you let them set in. If they are setting in, if they are fitting in, then they are welcome. If they are not sitting in or fiddling in or fitting in, then you are letting go. So it's kind of you will give your time or yourself time to see if something that's coming in looks great can sit in. Or it's like you, it's kind of that little piece or that, that piece, if fits and looks okay or wants to stay there, great. If not, you will part away with no question asks. Yeah, look at this. For some of you, you're not going to waste any more time for, for the small things. It's kind of small things have no place in my life. With the world, it's just kind of the way they come, let them go. This is also speak about I'm not going to keep myself attached to certain things that are not really bring me any good in my life or any balance or any stability let's say that aquarius what's shifting for you darlings at this time or in the near future we have the knight of pentacles we have the king of swords and the star wow okay It's kind of like if this is uh, not because of someone in your life. For some of you, you might have someone in your life that you want or you don't want. There's like you clearly now will know what you want or you don't. Could be regards people or not. But also what I'm seeing here, what's shifting you is the way you dedicate yourself towards the things you want to have in your life. It's kind of, it has value, it's consistent. It's something here that I wanted or keep wanting it, then I will keep it next to me. If it's not something here that is consistent or something here that doesn't bring me any value or any good or any desire, then I'm not going to keep it. So it's like most of you are going to keep certain things that definitely will, will have some meaning for you. Other ones, they are gone. For others of you, there is certain things that you wanted for a long time. You are going to achieve them. For some of you, there is something here you really wanted that's coming in for you. So that's going to shift here. Because for some of you, if you worked on something for a while and you want some kind of result, that result is coming. And definitely I see you very happy about it. And of course, Pisces. What's shifting for you, darlings? Eight of Swords. Four of 
four of swords and nine of wands. What's shifting for you is if you used to do the things by yourself or always trying to do the things by yourself, you will let others to help you. And what's shifting you is allowing people to help you. I know, I've been there, I've done that. I used to do a lot of things on my own because I always used to be in this position that if I don't do it myself, I don't trust it's, it's done properly. But Spirit says, let others to do it for you or help you. So what's shifting you is how allow people into your life or influence your life and your movement. And not resisting when some people, when some person is just kind of like, let me do this for you or let me help you. You don't say I can do it myself or I will do it. You don't need to waste some time. It's kind of you, you are, what's shifting here also is how you invest your energy in what things, what's important and what is not important. This also speaks about micro and micro managing your life or the things around you. Okay, nice. So no more micromanaging. Let whatever others people can do it, let them do it. If there's anything you can do or anything you can resolve, yes. But let others to do certain things. You don't need to look how you've done it or what you've done it. Trust more. And you will have more done in a less time. And you will have your own time as well. If you could say, I can never take a vacation because these people are not doing their work properly or I always got to be in charge, let others also trust. Because, you know, it's a link out there for you to trust. So loves, that's what I have for you today. I hope this helps you to navigate through whatever you are going and hope these messages are bringing you the the right answers see you darlings bye for now